KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a bloodbath out there. You've got all the U.S. indices we track trading to the downside. The same with all the sectors with inside the S&P 500. The S&P is uh, down 65 points, one and a half percent, one and a half for the uh, Dow, 520 points, 158 for the Nasdaq and the Russell's down 48. That's two and seven tenths percent to the downside. You've got gold trading up twenty five dollars. You've got the U.S. dollar index, which is now uh, trading off just a uh, tad. You've got silver up a buck forty four. Um, the spot volatility is up uh, 19 percent today. So what you should be aware of is most certainly if at day's end you are above a plus 10 percent reading on that one day rate of change for the spot volatility, you should expect to anticipate some kind of bounce overnight. Um, more about that during the uh, during the radio show. Uh, you've got the uh, lights recruit is off 340 and natural gas back eight cents. 30 treasury up one, basically almost two points at 131.19. Let's take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner. You've got the ES mini prices pulled all the way back to the support of the bottom of its profile. 41.18 is the number. You can see there's some trend line support below that. Today's level would be right at about right at about 4100. Um, would be that trend line support. Spot volatility is now above that 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1923, the spot fix at 1936, but you've got that one day rate of change well above plus 10%. Let's see what it is at day's end. The NQ consolidating with inside its uh, really daily profile uh, between the uh, range. Well, it's got support at 12,906, resistance at 13,348. US dollar index is attempting to form an A to B equal C to the upside, but has not done that. It's dealing with its bearish structured daily profile, which it did close above yesterday. A second close above 101.88 uh, is going to suggest that the US dollar heads higher. You've got gold consolidating with inside its profiles between 1974 and 2040. You've got silver doing the same. Its profile levels between 2466 and 2550. We're trading right now at 2548. Lights we crude is negated. It, well, at least at this stage, it's negated its TD9 count bottom pattern, and it's trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. If it closes below on a weekly base, that is, 72.77, well, price could easily head back to its March lows. That would be anywhere in the range of uh, 64.58 to 68.06. Natural gas might be headed back towards its Rhodes Momentum Indicator support at about $2.14. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.